You are now listening to Playbook Radio. Here is your host, Martin Williams. And welcome to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. We do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, and YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com. So today what I wanted to talk to you about is the eighth, well, actually ninth principle of the Playbook uh, course, which is releasing on September 29th. And this particular principle is called Creating the Picture. So one of the things that I talk about in the course is vision. Okay, there's four parts of the playbook, uh, mindset, vision, planning and strategy, and execution. And I believe that you have to have a vision for your life if you're going to accomplish anything worth doing. Visualization is a natural thing that everyone does, but they don't always do it on purpose. And we can visualize harmful things or undesirable things. And everyone's good at that. Everyone's a natural at that. But when you ask someone to visualize their dreams or visualize something that's desired, you know, most people scoff at it. They think, you know, you're full of it, right? But I want to challenge you to create the picture. I want you to visualize on purpose. And what I ask people in the course on a macro level is to pick a goal that is in sight, but out of reach, right? Not something that you've done before, but something that you haven't done before, but you can see yourself doing it, right? But it just, it just seems out of reach. It seems like something that, you know, would take a minor miracle to happen, right? Um, And then, you know, I asked the student to, create the picture of them having it. Okay. So, you know, let's say it's something like getting out of debt and you know that you can get out of debt within 20 years. Right. But what if you wanted to get out of debt sooner than that? What if you wanted to get out of debt in four years or three years? Okay. So you visualize yourself being out of debt, right. And you visualize that picture of that particular bill being paid off or that debt being paid off and you see a zero balance. And what would that, you know, what would that feel like? And and I'll go deeper into that, but you create the picture and see yourself having it, whether it's a car, whether it's a new apartment or a new house, you visualize yourself having that thing over and over and over again. And what happens is that when you create that picture, your subconscious mind starts forming the picture within the mind, within yourself, that picture starts to form within yourself. And then it will go to work and start creating that picture in your life. Now, most people create the picture using something called a vision board. And you know, I, I think that's great. I actually use it myself when I was manifesting different things in my life, whether it was working from home or um, you know, living by a beach. I mean, all of these things I've manifested and a lot of it was through creating the picture. Now, you know, professionals, sports coaches, sports psychologists, you know, they're not going to argue with you with this because these are things that they use in their life. Okay. But again, the average person is skeptical. You know, they don't think it'll work for them, but it will absolutely work for you. You have to make a decision to do it. So, my challenge to you is take a small goal, take something that, you know, doesn't mean a whole lot to you, but it'd be nice to have, like say uh, getting a parking space or, you know, getting a seat on the bus or a train that's really crowded, you know, something small, but something that would verify to you that this works and visualize yourself having that thing, right? When you go to bed tonight, visualize yourself having that thing in your hand right? Or visualize that thing happening for you and do it over and over again until you feel a sense of peace. Now, once you feel a sense of peace, then you know that the subconscious mind is working on it. And in time, and you don't know how, that's the cool thing about it is that, you know, you don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. And it's going to happen in a way that, you know, will probably make you take notice And at that point, 
you'll know this works and then you'll be ready to try it for bigger stuff. So if you're interested in learning more about this, uh, subscribe to the podcast and be on the lookout because the playbook course is going to release on sep- on uh, September 29th, excuse me. And I'm so excited to share it with the world. It's been a long time coming and I think it's going to help a lot of people and hopefully you're one of those people. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Playbook Radio. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast with family and friends. And if you're ready to take the next step in your personal development journey, consider trying mental recoding by Playbook Strategies. These short audios are designed to help you reprogram your thoughts around different life subjects, such as finances, health, work, relationships, and much more. Click the link below to explore mental recoding products to help reshape your mind.